All right, people. Welcome to the actual last video of Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. So, as usual, in every walkthrough I do for any subscribers or people who tune in to my channel, I always do a verdict after fully completing the game. So, it was a tough one for Ace Combat 7 because I, I really wanted to give it an 8 because there was just one glaring issue that I couldn't adore, but I'm going to give it a 9. I was very impressed and quite surprised. So, what was the complaint? It's the checkpoint system. The checkpoint system was crap. It, it wasn't even a good checkpoint system. It reminded me of Evil Within 1, the frustrating one. Because these missions are well designed and they're well they're very long they're very long but it sucks because you have to start from the very beginning as you guys saw in my previous videos how do I describe it basically the game has a mind of its own in terms of the checkpoint system it starts you from the beginning after you get very far in the game until you get to the second checkpoint it's very long spurts of time and padding just to get to that second point. It sucks. It really sucks. And it just get, adds more time to the game than it should have. Credit, I really like this game. But the checkpoint system, if they're going to do an 8, no. Just don't do that checkpoint system again. Or if you're going to do it, make it not as frustrating or spread it out. Because doing like 10 minutes of the same run to get to the second part of the checkpoint is bullcrap. And they know it. That was it. That was my only complaint. The checkpoint system in the campaign was just not time. And it just made it frustrating every single time. I love going to the mission. I love getting prepped up for it and then getting to a certain point only to get shot, crash, shot again, crash again. Or my plane stall, or ice up, or get shot again. It sucked. The multiplayer gets away with it because it's the multiplayer. You can't complain it. But the campaign, when you want to enjoy the story and fly your awesome aircraft, it sucks. Story 10 to 15 minutes of runs again. Or hearing the same dialogue again just to get to that point. That's enough to take a point off because... That's frustrating. I don't like that. I did not like that at all. Now, let's get to the positive. The campaign. The campaign and everything that happens in... The, wow. Where do I start? Sky Zone No. That's a very fitting title for it. It just adds and turns to the story. Because... Abby, when we get to... Or Scrap Queen, when we get to the first level or the first cutscene... It's a great philosophical question, which is superbly answered by the end by Princess Cosette. I just like that kind of metaphor. They they showed it, but they did it in a fitting way. And then that everything that felt that was in the story from all major character deaths, it just felt earned. The character's death were earned. The story of basically, can you hear me, having more weight than it should have, the information of technology is increasing the respect for aircrafts and the themes of the Ace Combat series it just feels like a reference to past but you don't have to watch the past to get the sense of what's going on it feels like it's individual story why the story is great Okay, as I was saying, so what what else does the story do well? Its themes is very prevalent. The sky's unknown. If you miss it, it's okay. The game reminds you of all the kind of uncertain for future that the age character is facing. And it shows with the world, with the characters, with the story, with the pacing. 
everything that happened in the story just was it just felt intentional and it felt earned any character's death like I mentioned or just when we have quiet reflection of basically political international or just the language between nations and the perspective of nation even the villain gets a very appropriate backstory and he just feels fitting and then once we get to the end it just feels fitting that like Abby I'm gonna paraphrase it when she's asking like do you ever think about what the color of the sky is I might be paraphrasing and then it's dark blue which they address in the 20th which is a fitting title for it and it's a fitting ending too when Princess Cassette does can you hear me because she's communicating to the world in a sense it, my best interpretation of that is can you hear me from another nation above can you hear me from space can you hear me to another nation that we heard in that radio chat that just seemed important may have passed reference to his combat can you hear me it just there's deep words everybody's line is not wasted it just feels like everybody's lines were well designed that that's his it, it story is just very perfect it's perfect for what it is in this type of game and nothing feels left out the pacing was great the characters with ended who we get to know or who hasn't died is great and excellent I have no complaints with the story I would replay it again because now that I have the knowledge of what happens it just feels well earned everything just has so much weight so much passion and so much great pacing I love the story I got swept in and I really cared about the story that's a great positive it earns a nine by itself what else does it do well the characters I wasn't expected to get attached to Wiseman, Brownie, Champ, and the convicts or any other characters, but I got swept in because they were relatable, they were human. They were passionate and they just felt like us in basically a climate war climate. And it doesn't help that we got perspective of the villain and we know where he could, came from. So when we did finally take him down, it also felt erred. Even if we fought the AI drones, which is not a spoiler if you've been watching my videos. Even when we fought them too, it just felt like that was well earned too. The characters were also well voiced too because the dialogue had great script writing for them. Nobody felt no one felt like an unnecessary character because the writing and the script writing and the characters were just really well done. Another positive, let's face it, it's the gameplay. I haven't played a lot of airplane game simulation like this, but what it does well, what it does well is basically the shooting mechanics, the well, the stability, just roll it around, just the G turning to avoid the missiles, the kind of radar, the radio transmissions for your excellent characters. It just feels like you're in control of your airplane the entire time, and it's just great dogfights. It's intense, it's methodical, it's awesome. That's the best way I can describe it. It's just pitch perfect gameplay in this kind of a game. It surprised me. Nothing just feels just have measure with this gameplay. It even transfers to the multiplayer, which adds to what I love about the single player. It just put in the multiplayer, and it's just fun to tackle on other people. I tried the multiplayer. It's fantastic, too, because it just takes everything you love in the single player, doesn't, doesn't half measure it, doesn't give you weak weapons, it makes you overpower, but underpower in the right ways, and it's all the stuff that you earn from the single player. So you're not starting from scratch. You're just transferring over to the multiplayer. And that's a great addition. It just adds to the amount of content in this game. You don't even need a DLC. Everything's in the single player gimmick. It just transferred to the multiplayer. And you have so much fun with the gameplay because it's already in the multiplayer. It's all those sock fights with other people playing around the world. It's just intense. But in the most fun way. Alright, and it also helps that the game is popping with visual spectacle. Its levels are well designed. 
Foss training. For all the times they crash. Foss training to a T. But they're very fun to explore. They're all well designed. They're well... They paint a great picture of what they want to convey in Ace Combat 7's world. They convey it in the best way possible. They're very tricky. And they add it and they change it up. There's variety in that. It, it awesome in the single player and you just get to play in the multiplayer. It's just fun. All those dog fights and those, especially the file level. Brutal. But I like that they mixed it up. And find the Arsenal bird and there were some boss fights too. But that just adds to the gameplay. There's nothing more positive I could say about this game that I just showed in the video. I was having so much fun. And that's the that's what you want in a video game. It's fun. It's very fun. I recommend it. I highly recommend it to Dad because he would he would be yeah, he would be sweaty at the aircraft because man, there there were just some intense ones. And the last thing I'm going to mention, because I just can't stop gushing about this game, the music is very fantastic from the opening thing. They remix it in the best possible ways. It's such a it's a triumphant, heroic theme that plays throughout the game, and it's remixed in the best way possible. Even when you fight the Arso Bird, and the villain's boss theme is remixed well too. There's just so many fantastical musical and compliments and the French I'm actually gonna spell this one out because I can't pronounce it but I'll try my best give me one second it's called penis by probably pretty much probably mispronounced that but it's called P E N S apostrophe E E S it's a French, I think, a love song. My interpretation when I was reading the lyric, it's about honoring the fallen who died in this war and the misunderstanding because of that blackout scene when the satellite got kicked off offline and everybody was just a friendly and foe. We didn't know who the heck we were attacking. Interesting mission. But it helped that that French song really just added to the ending because of that very physical philosophical ending that we got addressed in the intro. I love how they ended that. That French song and then that kind of representation of French and just basically time continues even when a state of chaos and war time does continue. People change and people and political and nation changes with them. So I think that's the interpretation of Can You Hear Us from Princess Cosette, what she was saying at the end, that the nations, can can you hear us from beyond space, from time? Can you hear us from our ground? But yeah, it just helps that the music added to each scene, even when we had quiet moments or the intense moments, the music was just, just kicking it in high gear every time. If the rest of the Ace Comeback series music sound like that. I'm impressed. So yeah, I give this respectively a 9. If there's an Ace Comeback 8, want to see how the reviews are, but if this is a return to form and it feels like an Ace Comeback 7, this is the return to form in the best way possible. I recommend to play it if you're Air Force or if you just like airplane games. This is the game. This is the game. It is frustrating. As you have seen, it took me from March to get to May. It took me a good solid two months just to finish this game. Because its checkpoint system is still crap. That's my only complaint. So, as always, thank you guys for watching my Ace Comeback walkthrough and subscribing to it too. And definitely leave a comment of which part and iconic moment you love or which level. And I will see you guys next time.